Congratulations on completing the sample mean exercise. You have now learned to calculate your first summary statistic from a set of samples of a random variable. In this next exercise, we're going to take this a little further by learning how to calculate some other summary statistics. Before we get on to that, however, let's first briefly review what we now know how to do. We now can easily write a computer program to generate a sample of n identical uniform random variables. Furthermore, once we have this set of samples, we can compute a sample mean by using this expression. A Python code that we might use to complete these two tasks is shown at the bottom of the slide here. The first part of this code generates seven samples and stores them in a list called samples. The second part, meanwhile, computes the sample mean by summing all the samples in the list using the Python function sum and by then dividing this quantity by the number of samples that were generated. Let's now suppose that we'd wanted to calculate the median from our samples rather than the mean. We would not need to change the first part of the code that we had used, the part that we used to generate the samples at all. We would, however, need to write new code to calculate the median. The task we need to do here is rather simple. Suppose, for instance, that we had generated the following set of random variables and that these were the quantities in the list called samples. To calculate the median, we would simply put this list of random variables into ascending order, as shown here. The median is then simply the middlemost number in this list, in this case 0.51. If we want to write a code to do this in Python, we do exactly the same thing. The code we would need to write is shown here. The first command here sorts the list samples into ascending order. We then set the median equal to the third value in our list because, as shown here, this is the index of the value that is smack bang in the centre of our ordered list. This process of sorting our samples into ascending order is useful in other contexts too. For example, consider the code shown here. This is once again creating a list containing 10 random variables and sorting it into ascending order. Now though, instead of finding the median, we are taking the second and ninth elements in our list and using these to define a range that encompasses 80% of the samples that our random variable took. By sorting random variables and by taking these percentiles, we can thus start to develop simpler ways of visualising more of the data in our sample. In other words, instead of representing our sample with a single number, we can start to visualise the range of values that our samples took and hence the shape of the underlying distribution of values. To summarise then, I have shown you how you can generate a list of random variables and how you can then sort this list into ascending order using a code like the one shown on this slide. Furthermore, I have explained that this procedure is useful when it comes to calculating the median of the distribution as well as information on the range of the data values within the sample. In the next exercise, you will have to use these ideas to calculate the median and some percentiles for a distribution. Good luck.